It's time to give your iPhone a unique personality and ditch the generic iPhone look. Here's how you can customize your iPhone home screen and lock screen like a pro, whether you have the iPhone 17 Pro Max or any iPhone running iOS 26. The first thing that we want to get rid of is this stock wallpaper, which feels great for a few days and then gets boring. And to do that, you can simply swipe down from the top left, which will bring you to the lock screen. Now press and hold on it, then you can either tap on this add button or swipe right and then tap on it. There's a few featured official ones, but we're gonna choose our custom wallpapers, so we'll choose photos. This will open your gallery, where you should already have your awesome wallpapers that you wanna use. So let's choose this one of the orange mountain range, which beautifully complements our cosmic orange 17 Pro Max. And after we have chosen the wallpaper, the coolest thing about it is the new clock style of iOS 26. Just press on the bottom right corner, now drag down to be amazed. Another reason why I chose this wallpaper is because it has a clear background separation which helps with the depth effect. In case you don't see the depth effect, then tap on these three dots and make sure depth effect is enabled. If it still doesn't work, then you'll need to pick a different photo. You can tap on your clock, then further customize its color to match the wallpaper, which we're gonna do using the eyedropper tool, then font, thickness, and it looks awesome. You can also go crazy with the clock by selecting a different language or numerals. It's better if you can read them as well. Also, don't forget to use the new parallax effect by toggling it on, then it will generate what Apple calls spatial scene, and now it will use the gyro to make your wallpaper come alive. But the clock's depth effect will be disabled in this case. Lastly, you can also add some widgets at both the bottom and the top of the clock and you can also choose some filters, which we are not gonna use. After you're satisfied, click on add, and now you can either choose set as wallpaper pair or customize home screen, which will let you further customize how the home screen will appear. For example, you can disable the blur effect, or you can choose a totally different photo for your home screen. You'll just need to tap on photo, and for the home screen, we're gonna go with the orange or golden gradient, which matches our iPhone 17, tap on done, and we're gonna keep the blur disabled. Or you can also choose gradient colors by double tapping on gradient, then choosing a color. We're gonna stick with our photo. Now let's tap on done, and there you have it. You just created your first custom wallpaper and lock screen combo. Just tap on it and swipe up to witness the beauty. Now that we're done with these, let's begin the real customization by changing the app look and arrangement. Long press on the home screen, tap on edit, customize, and here you can switch to dark icons, which will auto dim the background, and to make it light again, just tap on the sundial. You can also choose the liquid class or clear icons, which doesn't have the best visibility. Then you can also choose tinted, which will try to match your wallpaper's color scheme. There's a few more options at the bottom, which I'm not sure what actually does. So just pick your choose, or use the slider or eyedropper to choose a specific color that you like. Last but not least, what I like the most is the enlarge option, which will get rid of all the text on your home screen and make it look minimalistic. If you're still watching, let me share a secret with you to make these icons even bigger. Just open settings, go to display and brightness, scroll to the bottom, tap on display zoom and select larger text. Tap done and use zoomed. The screen will go black for half a second and the text may appear bigger, but this can be fixed right away. Just tap on done and decrease the text size accordingly. Now the text will remain the same size, but as you can see on the home screen, the icons are huge now. Now let's switch out the widgets and add your own, such as the calendar, then add a few more if you like. Now that we're done with the looks, it's of no use if your home screen is riddled with a lot of apps and they're not organized. So what you can do is only keep the Essential app on your home screen. Just long press on the app, then drag and drop the app icons anywhere on the screen. I'll just keep these four on the first page. Now let's take a look at the other pages and you can see we have a lot of apps on our home screen. So in this case, making folders and categorizing them is the best way to go. Just drag and drop similar apps on top of them, which will create a folder, for example, the games apps. Then you can drag and drop all of them together like this, then drop this stack on the folder to move them all together. Bet you didn't know this. I'll do the same with social media and all the Google apps. Then I'll recommend you keeping the second most used apps 
on the second page. And you can be creative and stack them like this. Let me go ahead and customize the third page and sort them by colors. And after you're done, what you should do is remove any app from the home screen that you don't use frequently. Keeping three pages at most will declutter your iPhone and ensure more coming experience. Whenever you need the apps, you can always find them using the search function. There you have it. Now your iPhone looks nothing like before and your unique personality will shine through. If you enjoyed this, make sure to let us know and enjoy your new iPhone.